There are several resources you can refer to. You can search for Knowledge Base Article 18369 that has step-by-step -step instructions also. And also the download site will have instructions on installing also. Another quick step about activating is to go to Administrative Services, Data Activation, and then you can select the tax update that you install to activate. Then you can confirm that the tax update is activated under help system information as it will have a red check mark beside it. A reminder is make sure your user has sufficient rights to administrative services within Sage 300 ERP. Checking for changes in the tax update document. Normally when I install the tax update, I add a C colon in front of the AI underscore temp folder during the install so that my documents will be located in C underscore AI temp folder. The file name is usually UT or CT for Canadian tax, followed by the date and then the words update notice. So look for that document. Especially for Canadian customers, everyone's personal tax credit limit changes every year. You will need to adjust the TD1 claim amount for each employee.